hello everyone so today in this video i'm going to clear out the theme uh, extra stuff and i'm also going to improve our routes so uh, before this i'm going to first clear out the theme so here i have run this command php artisan fresh seed so basically i want to fresh my data and then here on the home page so i um, uh, clear all of the post and now it is playing nothing so it is playing that no post added yet it is playing the categories so why it's displaying the categories because i use here fresh migrate fresh seed and uh, this category where these categories is coming from so let me view these categories oh basically when i'm um, uh, here i have added this seed flag so whenever i'm refreshing my database i'm seeding these categories so that's why it's coming from there okay so now it's displaying no post added yet but here there is no information it's added in the latest but here i want to add this also here so now let's uh, do our topic uh, here we are displaying all of the post right so before this we need to check that we have some post or not so i'm going to check that uh, in the if okay if we have uh, let me add the count and uh, posts not post it's be a post greater than zero we need to apply the else okay and i need to add this at the end of uh, this for each loop because before this for each loop i'm going to check this out here so here the for each loop is ending right i added this uh, else condition because first it's going to execute the if so if the if is uh, not executed it's going to execute this uh, to and display no post uh, was to add it yet okay just add that to text center text to danger save this one and let's get refresh okay now displaying that no post edit yet right but let me add some margin at the top top five let's get refresh and yes now it is playing that no post edit yet with the some margin so now it's good and uh, i want to now uh, here it is playing no post found and uh, oh yes we don't have any post so that's why it is playing no post found okay so now the time is to add uh, some post from the administrator so i will hit refresh so these posts also will be disappeared because i did not refresh the web page okay let's click on this create uh, post okay i'm going to add uh, laravel 9 laravel 9 post okay and here i'm going to choose the category of uh, tronic or publish uh, let me choose a publish to choose uh, an image sorry where is the image society image and here laravel 9 is cool framework and here let me add some lorem some text Let's add it to okay, paste, paste one more time, paste one more time. Okay, so now this will be automatically extended. That's good. And now, whenever we have a, a lot of description characters, so this will be now prevented to load full description here. That's good, right? okay so now here if i go ahead and give it a refresh so it's going to display so now our admin dashboard is properly linked with this so whenever we have a post status which is published it will be visible here great 
and uh, by the way this image is blurred i blurred uh, uploaded blurred image that's why it's behaving like this it's not blurred but it's uh, affected it's uh, opacity is uh, uh, in the minus 5 or minus 0.5 okay so now displaying this uh, this small description with the title and if i click on this it will view uh, where i can view all of the information yes so here i'm can i can also view this full description that's great right and uh, now i'm going to uh, work on these that i want to display here proper titles and things and i also remove these stuff which are extra and uh, uh, i'm also going to improve the routes but maybe i will do this in the next video if it is going bigger so first let's start with the uh, this is single blog let's go to this single blog uh, not auth it's a website single okay in this single blog I want to display here blog detail and uh, here I want to display the in the single I want to display blog detail and I don't want to display this so I'm going to remove this out you can display the blog title here as well as right but i'm not going to do this and up oh, one more here i'm going to also add uh, some section here section i want to add the title at the top so the in this single blog or i can get the dynamic name of this blog so what's the name of this blog it would be uh, let me add the dynamic name here uh, i don't know if it's going to accept this or not so we'll fix this if it's not going to accept this one maybe it's not going to accept because we had this in the section if it is not and yes it's showing that we have unexpected token okay so here mm, uh, how can i get this let's add the quotation and check that is it to going to work or not okay it's going to work and it's playing uh, airspace and uh, log details and here it's not displaying the title why it's not displaying because in the main website layout we have a title so displaying this title right so here just remove this so uh, title and add a yield property and add a title so it will pull the title from the single blog and now it's going to display this post and it's playing echo post title it's um, basically it's uh, uh, converting our this uh, um, this title into the string but whenever you are con will convert this it will behave like this echo e post like this right so here in the blog I'm not going to get its title I'm going to uh, I'm going to display this single blog here not I'm going to get rid of this thing single blog okay save this one and let's get refresh and yes it's now displaying single blog that's it and uh, let's uh, close this out in the single blog let's uh, view this blog tail categories and uh, think everything is working fine right so now let's go to the home page we need to also set the link of blog and home page and stuff like that okay so now i'm going to link the home page so what is the home page this we are in the home page so here i'm going to cut out extra tabs so this one is home so home should be responsible for url let me add the url because we don't have any name for no we have name for home i think it yes it's home so let me add the route here and route name would be the home okay and then i don't uh, have any portfolios i don't have any other tabs like this so let's remove other ones 
and uh, maybe I have uh, contact us or about us page so I will add this uh, later so this one is basically a static web page right so I will add the link uh, here in the future okay so now let's give it a refresh it will display only home and contact and yes home and contact so you can also add the contact link here so let me add this and I'm coming so let me check the video size no it's not going bigger so let's go here go to theme press contact us and here this contact us is uh, displaying this contact us and let me uh, open this out there is a partial out so no 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 displaying the contact us section header and uh, drop us a note let me go there drop us a note i need to copy it from there uh, before this footer i need to copy this section and here i'm going to create a contact us page right route is uh, here i want to only display the hard coded data or static data that's why i'm creating this for only view so first i need to define the url of this one so i'm going to define this contact to us and then i'm going to place here a view name so for now i don't have any view so i'm going to go to this uh, not blog i'm going to go to this website and here i'm going to create a, a contact us page contact dot blade dot php and here i'm going to extend first uh, layout of a website right and in the website i'm going to first add a section where i'm going to pass the title and the title would be the contact us right and here i'm going to add a section of uh, content and in the content i'm going to add this uh, my all of the code right so maybe i have some image so i can i need to set this image path no i don't have any image so now let's test this so first let me save this out and oh i need to add this uh, here the view name so what is the view name so the view name is would be in the website i have a contact okay so now let's go here and type uh, contact us and yes it's displaying the contact us page and everything working fine great okay okay that's fine everything is working fine so now the time is to drop us a note lorem ipsum let me remove this lorem ipsum from this so contact us uh, remove this okay that looks fine contact us it looks fine we don't need to update any of the information and uh, now let's uh, you can also visit this contact us so let me set this contact us link here in the main layout so here i'm going to update this so using this route contact oops why it's not displaying the contact oh i don't have any name route that's why it's playing like this so here let me name this out like contact so now it's going to work so now let's get refresh okay now i can visit this contact us by clicking on this contact us right so i can instantly also go to this home page by clicking on this home so that's uh, great and uh, on the home page we are displaying all of the posts that's why i did not create this blog section here okay blog right sidebar so let me uh, go to the main website to uh, go to the top and here i'm going to uh, update something home okay in the home uh, about us contact us in the footer it's displaying like this so i want to about we don't have any about us page let's update the footer so in the contact us we have the contact us let's update this contact us 
and how it's work pricing we don't have any pricing but we have a home page right let me add the home and this pricing should be home okay and this url would be before this uh, contact us okay and uh, i don't want to remove this copyright to uh, design and develop by theme fisher i don't want to get the credit to that i developed this in my own way uh, in my uh, own i developed this personally so that's why i'm going to just remove the free bootstrap get more like i'm going to remove this stuff right otherwise i'm not going to remove the copyright you can also get this theme from the uh, you can also get this from my github repository so i will publish this full code so you can get this full theme and yes now it uh, looks good and uh, here and uh, by the way thank you theme fisher you provided a free theme where we are testing in our everything okay so now i want to change something here i want to change the blog sidebar so it's located in the index so now let's search this uh, oops so this here not there okay this one so i'm going to also remove this out so here i'm going to write to uh, blogs okay so we have this one and uh, we have this remove this and yes now let's get refresh we have a blog section so here you can also add your own logo blogs blogs and we can uh, view blogs view latest blogs categories and stuff like that right so everything is working fine so now we need to work on the administrator side but our video size is going bigger so i will first uh, clear all of the extra stuff from the administrator and then i will work on the uh, routes to improve their structures so if you are if you like this video please uh, share it with your friends so in this way you can support me and i will um, i will get to some more like and views on this series so i will try to shoot uh, more series like this so thank you so much for watching these videos bye bye